And guess what? A few hours ago, a Palestinian guy from East Jerusalem, 21 years old, was driven by another person. He got off his car, entered into a synagogue. This is Shabbat evening. That's Friday evening. There was a Jewish, um, there was a Jewish ceremony there. Uh, we call it Shabbat Chatanis. When, when, uh, when someone uh, is uh, either about to get married or just got married, there's a special weekend that we celebrate in the synagogue. So families were all there dressed beautifully, both for Shabbat and of course for this special Shabbat. The terrorist got out of his car with a gun, entered and shot, cold blood, shot and killed seven, conflicting you know, reports between seven and eight people. Among them, women, men, and children. Thankfully, someone overheard the fire, ran all the way and neutralized the terrorist and killed him. Now, what came after is the big shock. Immediately, when the news about this terror attack and the number of the Israeli casualties, innocent Jewish worshipers in a synagogue, not terrorists holding guns in a secret apartment in a refugee camp plotting to kill someone. Innocent Israeli citizens, women, children, men. When the news came out, a, an amazing display of joy in the Palestinian streets, in East Jerusalem, in Hebron, in Bethlehem, all around, even in other Arab countries, the Palestinians started shooting fireworks, giving uh, uh, candies to one another, celebrating the massacre of seven, in eight innocent Israelis who did nothing, who held no guns, who shot at them, not all of these. And I heard nothing, of course, on the media. Very strong measures are going to be taken by the new Israeli government. This is a test for them, of course. But I want to tell you something, folks. Read Psalm 120 and see that uh, we may want peace. But when we say peace, those who dwell with us want war. This is the only thing that I could think of when I heard about these terrible news. In the very tragic thing is today is the International Holocaust Remembrance Day. Today we mark the killing of six million innocent Jews just because they are Jews. And today a Palestinian brainwashed terrorist walked into a synagogue and shot people only because they are Jews. This is why he went to a synagogue. So he's not going to mistakenly kill someone else. He killed them because they are Jews. He killed them in their worship place. He killed men, women, and children in the name of what he calls, or what they call, peaceful religion. Please follow me on Telegram.